this is nice. Look at this thing. We can settle here. I don't have the money to pay the taxes, though. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to medieval dynasty. I'm your man to do this, and gentlemen, we will build ourselves a medieval dynasty. Now, you're probably wondering what in the hell is this game supposed to be? Well, ladies and gentlemen, imagine that you, a handsome young boy, yeah, I know, like fantasy already, a handsome young boy that's running away far away from war that have already taken your closest family from you. You're running away to the most peaceful, most beautiful valley in the countryside, and here will your new life begin. Basically, it's like a little bit of a survival game, but not exactly, because in this game you actually need to loot, uh, lead a community. You actually need to build yourself a house, you actually need to make yourself a dynasty. Or you can just roam around and try to explore. It's just medieval, there is no fantasy over here, just the good old medieval stuff. There are lots of things to do in this game, I'm gonna be honest with you, but before we're gonna start, you need to know one thing. The key has been provided uh, to me, this time not by the publishers, but from a different source. As you all know, from quite some time I got the ref links in the description below of some of the games I've recorded on the channel to Games Planet. The key is coming from Games Planet and they were very generous to also provide the channel with a little voucher. If you're gonna go to the links in the description below and you're gonna like the game and you want to get it yourself, you can get a discount and you can also help the channel grow. Uh, all of the information will be set in the description below. Uh, if I remember correctly, in the upcoming five days, you're gonna get like quite big discount. After that, the price will rise a little tiny bit, but the voucher should still be uh, usable till I believe October 8th. And not to worry, Games Planet is an actual company that has physical stores. So if you feel like it, you can even go and visit them, say hello. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, crap your access. Grab your pickaxes, grab your swords and your shields, because we are going... Medieval. This is where I can start a new life. Yeah, I hope so. Just try not to destroy everybody and everything. Medieval Dynasty. Oh, hell yeah, boys. Yeah, it's loading. Okay. Whoa, this is nice. Hell yeah. Okay, starting a new life. Beautiful! Really pretty. So, ladies and gentlemen, just so you're gonna be aware of that thing before we're gonna try to do actually anything. Uh, the game is at the moment in early access. So, please remember that thing when you're gonna be playing. This is not the final product just yet, but you can get it already. And as I said, you can use the links in the description below uh, to get yourself some juicy discounts. But remember, the more progress on the game will be made, the higher the price will be. So, if you want to save some money, that's a good moment. That's really a wow. Okay, alright, I can settle here, no problem, I'm gonna build myself a brothel, I'm gonna have hookers and blackjack, and I'm gonna name it Tyrant's Dream. Okay, I bet you have to go this way. I like how, I like how he doesn't go, you know, like on a flat surface. The terrain is rough, right, so he's like bouncing up and down, up and down, up and down, like he's actually walking. This is nice, this is like a nice little detail, because normally in the games like this you just slide. You just like, like, everything is perfectly flat, you know? You know that episode from Rick and Morty, when he made the flat, super flat surface, and Morty was like, No! I can't! Woo! That's exactly the thing. That's, that's exactly the thing. You wanna experience true flatness? Yeah. True, true level? That's the thing. Is there a shitter? Hello? Hmm. Knock, knock. <laughs> Nobody inside. <laughs> right, nice field. I can hear a... Oh no, the goose. <laughs> the goose is here. Wait, berries! Mine? Hello there, woman! I have come from a country destroyed by war! Hello, excuse me, hey! Okay. Dobromira. Really? You have a Polish name? This is, this is like super old, old, old medieval Polish name. <laughs> Which, if you want to translate this thing to something, the closest guess I would be, let's say, uh, an extremely good woman. Like, you know, goody or something like that. Okay, do you have a minute? Uh, sure, what is it? Nice sweater we have today, don't you think? <laughs> have, you, have, have you been lately? It's great for you to ask. That's kind of you. It's no problem. Uh, oh, okay, you're, you're legal. Okay, that's fine. Uh... 
Can you move a little bit? Okay, no, we're not saying that you're fat. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. It's nice to wife. A wife is necessary to ensure the survival of your dynasty. Thanks to her, you will have an heir who, after reaching the right age, will continue your history, improve dynasty reputation, and develop the village. Your wife can also help you rethink your talents and heal your wounds. Remember to take care not only of yourself, but also of your whole family. If your wife is very dissatisfied with your actions, lack of shelter for a long time, food or possibility of warming in the winter, she may leave you and take the air with her. God damn it, woman! I've barely started and I already want to blame all my failures on a woman. Hey, you, kid! <laughs> Wanna buy some drugs? <laughs> Hi, man. <laughs> Wanna buy yourself a game? There's a discount in the description below. <laughs> I don't know how to read your name. Talibor? Okay, you have a minute? Sorry, my mom told me not to talk to strangers. Okay, that's actually some good knowledge. Right. And we are supposed to go... Somewhere over here. That's nice. So yeah, you've heard right. You actually have to run the village. It's not exactly like a real-time strategy game. It's also not exactly only pure survival game. It's a mix. A little bit of a mix. But the thing is that you take over the village and, well, you need to develop it. So you have to worry about the people, then you have to worry about your own family, then you have to worry about the dynasty. Uh, okay. Is any of you my uncle? Because apparently I have to speak with you. Hey, stranger, what brings you to our valley? You don't look like a merchant or pilgrim. No, I'm not. Resimir is my name, and I came from the south looking for my uncle Loran. Uh, in in his old home, they called him Loran the Raftsman. Loran, oh yes, he told me once about his life on the river. You came to the right place, but a few years too late, I'm afraid. Wait, what? What happened? He was a great man, and even a better friend. Resimir, as a good craftsman and an excellent trader. He made a small fortune here. See the tavern over there? He built and ran it, as well as many other shops you'll find in the valley. My mother told me that he got wealthy in the north. I had no idea how wealthy, but that doesn't answer my question. Your uncle got himself killed, my friend. He had the idea of a huge trade with the German kingdom into the west. Oh. So we are in Poland. <laughs> Great! <laughs> oh, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Germans <laughs> always have to be filthy Germans. Five cards filled with the best iron ore, beautiful colored linen, and, and our excellent beer, pulled by o ten oxen. He was not fooling around, I can tell you that much. What happened? How did he die? His shack got ambushed by bandits. His cart had slaughtered. He must have put up to the good fight. Took two with him to death. But from what I've, uh, what we've seen when we search for him, I've buried him myself, or better. What the walls left behind. I am sorry to be the better of such news. My uncle is dead. His wealth is gone. I came all the way here for nothing. Don't say that. I wouldn't let a nephew of Loran go to waste. And even uh, if most villagers forgot fast what they owed your uncle, I have no intentions to join them here. I am, uh, I am the Castellan and my ward still carries wave. So tell me, can you build your own fortune? I can craft simple tools, I can collect my necessities from the wilderness, I know how to count and to barter. That's good enough! I may not have good for, uh, goods or gold to offer, but you can have as much land here as you want. Not sold, but granted to you for life. Build a house, grow vegetables, keep the life stopping, follow your uncle's dream. Are you serious? My own land! As much as I want! As much as you put it to good use, my boy! And as long as you can pay your taxes. I understand. Okay, and an advice? You can cut down trees to build your house. It grows by the river. It will work well for the roof. Do you have some food with you? Not much. If necessary, you will find several w uh, vendors in our village. If you don't have any money for food, you can always look for mushrooms in the forest or hunt animals. Maybe I can get some coins? Sure, you can talk to people here in the other villages. Maybe some will pay for your help. Thanks. Let me see. I have something special for you. Take this. This is the hammer your uncle used to build the house in which he grew old. What better cool could you use to build your first home here? Thank you very much. See you next time. Tabs menu. Construction wheel. Inspector's mode. Inspector's mode lets you see where the villagers are in the area around you. As well as your items on the ground, like spears, you can also see the stats of NPCs you are uh, able to recruit. Inspector's mode uses stamina, which talents can upgrade as well. Press left alt to access, press Q to access, press tab to... Okay. 
Oh my god! I got visions. I got six senses. Alright. And then we got the wheel crafting building. Other. Campfires. Traps. Furniture. Fences. Hey! Okay, I don't have enough tools to craft any of those. And building. Storages. Farming. Survival. Crafting. Houses. And resources. Okay, what about resources? What do we got? Woodshed. Woodshed. Excavation shed and a mine. Ooh, farming. Okay, there are a few buildings over here. I can roll with this. I can work with this. Hell yeah, baby. Okay. Well, first things first. We have to look for some food. This is nice. Look at this thing. We can settle here. I don't have the money to pay the taxes though. Uh, okay. Can I? Oh, okay. I can collect. We can work with this thing, boys. How much I need? Twenty. Sure. No problem, I got experience in standing in one place and pressing constantly the one button as possible for harvesting resources. There you go. See? No problemo. Okay, fine. We got that thing. So now we have to look for sticks and other berries. Nice. Uh, yeah, okay. I can work with this. So basically, what you do in this game? Well, you survive, you craft, you farm, you hunt, you look for a wife, you divorce her, you look for another wife, uh, you also make a fortune and you run the village there is also seasons so there's winter summer uh, up, uh, fall and of course uh, what was this fourth one I forgot about something spring I don't know how the guy expects me to cut a tree because that's not gonna happen uh, okay we got rocks I need to hack and cut a tree hold on a second those are my quests uh, something. Journal. Yeah, that's that's nice, but how I can access my... Oh! Okay. Water, food. Right, so this is like an encyclopedia. Those are my skills, so yeah, good to know. Skill tab, talents. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get for that thing eventually. Inventory! Touch, back hat, boots, hood, hose, and tunic. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Categories, item list, money, and wave. Allows you to buy items. Wave satisfies how many you are able to carry. Description. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, simple torch, hammer. Two for building. How I can get myself an axe? Because there's no bloody way I'll be able to cut a tree using a hammer. See? Requires an axe. Let's actually see, can I get a quest or something from those people? Uh, I'm cre uh, creating a new settlement and I'm looking for good people to uh, who will join me. Okay, maybe not exactly you. Let's see. Zdemir. Uh, looking for good people to join me. Yeah, that's not gonna happen because... Oh, hello. I can steal a hole! <laughs> right, okay. So maybe I could try to sneak it out. Oh, look the baby! Kick the baby! Olga. Uh, dude, do you have me? You have a minute? Nice sweater. I just got up from working in the field. Tough job. So I guess you used to being covered in mud then. Wait, something appeared over there. I don't know what. Water. What is this? Such a... Wait, I just got water for free? I was not paying attention. Maybe I actually got something from him. Or my reputation have lowered. And now he hates me even more than he used to. Show me your wares. There you go. Uh, carrot, flour, onion seeds, ray grain. Yeah, I'm looking for like an axe. Or like a job. Hmm, okay. Well, let's keep looking. Wait, can I steal the logs over here? <laughs> I can just steal the logs! Hello, anybody home? Ooh! Can I rob it? Wow! So much items inside! Nobody saw anything! Shh! Shh! Don't tell anybody! Shh! It's a secret! Oh god, the horror! This is a quest mark over here, I believe. Wait, you? You have a quest for me? Hello, Alvin. Hi, my name is Re uh, Resimir. I didn't know here. Yeah, kinda. I'm looking for a, uh, for a place for myself. Well, good luck! Every day I cultivate the field. In fact, I do the same thing every day, year to year. Doesn't it bore you? If I were you, I would die of boredom. Of course it bores me. How long can you do the same thing in your life over and over? Well, the family needs my help, and I am doing my best. Did I offend you? Sorry. I'm fine. On top of that, the handle of my dam just got broke. Now it takes even longer to harvest crops. I think I know how to help you with this. I'll be, I'll be back soon. Well, Arvin's story, new quest. Uh, okay. 
The game is trying to tell me something, I can try to do something because I have no idea what to do. Which branches? Collect. That just gives me sticks. I'm looking for food because otherwise we're gonna probably die of, you know, starvation. So I found that quest in, the, in my journal thingy and apparently I need to give him a stick. Okay. No, that's not... No, no, sorry, wrong character. Where is Alvin? Ah, there you are, you handsome bastard. Here, use this as a new handle. Give a stick. Are you joking? I'm supposed to use that. Give me that side, I'll show you. All right, you surprised me. You're some kind of craftsman. How did you know? Uh, I know how to create some simple things. We're learning something new every day, right? Maybe I'm a farmer like my father, and I don't know much else. Hey, okay. Thanks for help. No problem. Did I get anything in return? Because I'm kind of starting to die from starvation, and that's not the bright future for me. Hmm, mushrooms. Moral mushroom. I don't know are those eatable? I should probably know, but they don't look eatable. They actually look kind of disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next village. Maybe uh, we'll be able to find some job over there. Yes, I've drank the uh, piss water from the from the river, and I'm plenty all right so far. I haven't died. I didn't get any debuff, so I have my hopes really really high right now. That actually this river is not polluted by any type of piss. And I can sell free, hopefully, drink it. The problem is gonna be in winter. Ah, great. Food. Okay, food is an essential parameter of your life. Uh, you must eat to restore it. You can hunt for animals for meat, but rough meat can cause poisoning in spring. Moral mushrooms are edible and can be found in the forest, but unripe berries can cause poisoning. In summer, the berries are ripe and good to eat, and in the fall, there is much larger selection of mushrooms, but you need to, uh, to be careful with the poisonous ones. Okay, so apparently the mushroom I have, which is this one over here, is completely edible and I can eat it, I think, without dying in a miserable, terrible way. Hello! I... okay, I... I want a quest! Hello! Sissy, nobody of you... Does any of you have any job? Show me where's. Okay, I can work with it. Ah, Sonax. Okay, how much for this thing? How much?! Holy shit. Oh wait, I can craft myself a stone axe. I just need to get myself some rocks. Okay, that's gonna be nice. Uh, building storage, resources, survival, hunting lodge. Working, building for fi uh, fishing. It also, uh, it also has a working station for crafting fishing tools. All right, so we have to build all those, all those things eventually. Uh, farming. Yeah, I don't have, I can get a field, I guess. But I don't think we can get anything else. Simple small house. Okay, we can work with that thing. Right, so we need to look for some seasons and sleep. There are four seasons spring, summer, autumn, and winter. The season changes automatically after three days. Oh my god! Many things depend on the season, including the showing, the harvest time. Uh, okay, also the timing of the availability of wild food resources, including berries and mushrooms at different temperatures during the. Okay. You can sleep in the bed or by the fire between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. Sleeping by the fire does not restore health. Sleeping in your bed restores your health a little bit. Okay, I need to get myself a house. I need to get myself fast. First things first, though. They have finally started a fire. So I want to cook. Stop! Jizzling! And... How do I cook? No, sissy. How do I... Wait, hold on a second. How do I cook? I have to probably put the mushrooms in my inventory, right? Oh, and berries. No, no, no. Dried meat. No. Mushrooms. I, I'm trying to put you in the... in the... in the slot. Food stores. Resources manual of the food can be found in the forest during autumn. Yeah, but I want to cook you! Hello? Hmm. I don't think I can use the campfires if I didn't build it by myself. So, they have a campfire over here, for example. Oh, there. Campfires. Simple campfire. Okay. Too close to another village. It's just a campfire! So apparently I cannot cook the mushrooms like this, but can I just eat them? Let's see. Uh, drop, exit. No, I want to eat you. How do I eat you? <laughs> eat the mushroom! <laughs> I know you can! Wait, there's a ritual button over there. Okay. I haven't died. We can work with this. Okay, I've reset a bit about my hunger. Not much. But, well, I have to work with that thing. Right, I need to look for some stone. Good news, found some stone. Also some mushrooms. Right, mushrooms for breakfast, mushrooms for dinner, mushroom for supper. 
I'm gonna become a mushroom man very soon. I think this is how Mario actually got born, you know? He wasn't born by going into the sewers. No, 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 no. He was born because he was eating mushrooms. Wild mushrooms. But anyway, uh, right, so how access crafting once again? Mm. Link? Crafting! Okay. Stone skin and knife. Skin animals. Wood spear. Simple wooden spear used for fight wild animals. Can be crafted in the book. Workshop and smithy. Not enough resources. I need a log for that thing. Okay, I'm gonna get myself a stone axe. Nice! Okay, so now with the stone axe, I believe we can try to equip it. Yeah! Hell yeah! Powerful weapon of a powerful warrior. Okay, so now we're gonna get over the, to the tree. And what I'm gonna do... Well... Minecraft! Timber! Oh, okay, that's anticlimactic. Maple tree. Okay. Ah! There you go. Uh, yeah, sure, pick up the logs, like... No problem, just put it in the pocket. Yeah, easy mode. <laughs> Always works, apparently. Right, I just hope that that tree eventually is gonna grow. And slap you two a few times. Come on. Come on. There you go. Beautiful. It's really dark inside, boys. Going into the deep, dark forest. Ooh. Creepy. Scary. Ooh. Ooh. No, it's not. Okay. So basically, I was thinking about, uh, like, a good place for setting up a settlement, you know? And I think that this is gonna be actually a good place. Why? Well, first of all, we have a lot of wood nearby. So that's like really good. Uh, second thing, close proximity to our river. So fishing, water source, stuff like that. But I think we could try to... I wonder can I can I develop more than just one village? I could maybe try to go for example over here, but I don't know don't know is that actually uh, such a good idea. So maybe for now let's stick. Hmm. This is actually a nice place for our village. If the game will actually allow me to build there. Yeah, but it's a long path. But sure, let's let's try. Why I'm setting such a weird ass position for a village? Well, simple, ladies and gentlemen. Defensive. This is really nice. Look at this thing. Holy shit, this game is pretty. It's really pretty. Wow. And the nice is like not pure dark. Yeah, sure, if we're gonna go to the forest, it's gonna be complete darkness, you know, you won't be able to see anything. But because I'm over here, I can see the moonlight shining upon me. A bright future for myself and for my soon-to-be wife. She's gonna be beautiful. She's gonna have... She's gonna have huge tits. Oh, the tits, man. Oh, I have remembered the tits. Bessie was her name. And her tits were glorious. That's a little line over there. And after a long walk, I have finally arrived at the destination, ladies and gentlemen. And I think that this is gonna be a glorious place indeed to set up a village. A new village indeed. Right? This is gonna be a good place because... Uh, if I'm gonna start building here, like, I am completely surrounded by rivers from, technically speaking, three sides. Sure, there are bridges over here, but it's a lot easier to defend a small bridge than it is to defend an open space. So, in just in case if the game is gonna turn into like some type of a survival bullshit with zombies or whatever, then I will be able to defend my ass. That's exactly the thing. And also, I'm gonna build a small gate over here, and if somebody would like to go through the bridge, <laughs> well, he was gonna have to pay. And I'm gonna have just a huge open space over here. We can try to make a farm. We can try to make a field. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it's gonna be great. Okay, I think I'm gonna set up my house over here. So, crafting, building, uh, houses. None of those houses. Give me a minute. That's not good. That's really not good. I've heard a wolf. That's not good. That's really, really not good. Holy f Fuck! Oh, I see him! Over there! I don't know if we'll be able to see this thing. Probably YouTube is gonna lower the quality of the video, but... He's there! He's there! Son of a bitch! I prefer not to fight with him right now! Okay, I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna hide behind the tree, and I'm gonna smack it really quick. And hopefully he's gonna completely ignore my ass. Because if he's gonna go- Ow! If he's gonna go for my ass, and I'm f fucked! Cut. Chop the tree! There you go. Uh, sticks. No, no, no. I want the logs. Thank you. Pick it up. Pick it up. Okay. 
Right. Is the wolf coming? I hope not! Okay, small house. Can I rotate this thing somehow? Rotate. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, awesome. Oh, yeah. At the beginning, it's gonna be a house, but later on, I'm gonna turn this thing into a shed. Right, so how about I'm gonna smack you. Okay, I'm gonna smack you a bit closer to the wolf, because why not? Okay, it's standing. It's, it's, I hope I haven't made a mistake. Is he coming? No, it's just the bridge. Holy fuck, man. I'm gonna get a heart attack. Right. Requires lock, sticks. I need more locks. Chop down the trees and try to build this bad boy. Oh my god, so green. Oh, that's just one wall. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I have to do this thing for every wall. Oh. Well, that's gonna take a while. And of course, we have to finish up the roof. There you go. Okay, oh, yes, oh, oh, okay, that's a lot of roofing actually over there. Okay, we're gonna need some more reeds as well. But hey, my house is coming around so nicely, man. It's gonna be wonderful this time of the year. Okay, I need more, more locks. Uh, hello? Locks? Any of you? Lying around? They can try to use? I don't think so! Also, there is no... Ah, uh, fuck, I have to go back and collect more reeds. I also found out that there are traps. I could try to lay up some traps. So, for example, I think in the other section. Furniture? No, 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 no. Traps. Okay, rabbit trap. Sure, let's let's slap it over here and... I don't know. We'll see, I guess. Because I wonder how this thing exactly works. Like, it's gonna spawn a rad rabbit randomly or... Oh, traps limit extended. That's nice. So, is it like, you know, uh, basically it's gonna spawn a rabbit and it's gonna go inside? Or they have to actually look for like a rabbit nest or something like that. Also, I cannot collect those. Why? No, I don't want to drink the water. I want to collect the reeds. Game. Good news. My house is almost ready. Even better news. Morning has come. Like, we don't have to fear the darkness, I believe. I hope. Okay, finish the house. Yay. Uh, open. Oh, I just have to push it. Wow, so many beds. A campfire. <gasps> I can cook food. Uh, okay. I don't have any of those resources, so that's great. A chest. Hey, I have some. I can roll with this thing. Super cool. Okay, I'm gonna drop the firewood actually inside. Uh, how do I drop items? Uh, left category? No, transfer. Everything. Everything. Nice. Okay. I can roll with this thing, boys. Haha. <laughs> nice. Okay, so now we need a son, uh, hunt a wild animal. Survive for a season. <laughs> oh, yeah, the last one is a joker. Okay, hold on a second. Crafting, building, order. Hmm. Fences. Wait, what does the fences do? Simple fence. Requires a small amount of something. Yeah, what what, what, what the fences do? No idea. Traps, furniture, campfires. Not in that thing at the moment, I believe. I cannot build more traps. Uh, building, storage, resources. Okay, so that's not the thing. Crafting survival, also not a thing. Houses, no. Not enough resources. Well, screw you too. Field. Okay. How does it work? If I'm gonna slap one here. Ah. Well, well, well. Fields and crop. Fields can be created with a maximum size of 16 by 16. Individual field tax depends upon the size of each field. To be able to grow something on it, you must fill the plow it in a hoe. Oh. I don't have hoes. Well, okay. Well, at least I'm gonna try to plant a uh, field later on over here. But still, where's my trap? I've set up the trap, so the trap I think should give me something if I anytime soon. Oh my god, a deer! Okay. How the fuck am I supposed to hunt you? Right? So if there are deers over here. Okay, hold on a second. Maybe. Can I? I can. Okay, slow. I wonder how many spears I'm gonna need to hunt down a deer. I don't know how to shoot that thing. Okay, don't move, 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 don't move. Don't move. <laughs> hey, give back my spear! Oh. Uh, would you mind? <laughs> hey, get back here! So this is, ladies and gentlemen, my evil dynasty. Of course, we're gonna try to continue this thing. I'm gonna leave the hunting actually for the future episodes. And, well, after that, we'll see how well we'll be able to survive in the winter. Because winter is coming! And I have bad feeling about that. But that's gonna be the thing that's such a demand. I'm gonna leave for the future episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the like episode. Please help a lot. I'll see you in the next video.